And the second yeah, card that's, I that's picked, still good. Okay. I picked another one too. Who would you feel like the relationship that you need to thaw out is with? <laughs> I got a feeling. What's that? Oh, um, the relationship I need to thaw out? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, I mean, you know, I guess, uh, like I'm still living with my mom, which is That's who going I a little, a, li a little better, you know, uh, it's been yeah. more peaceful here. Um, yeah. but you know, there's, yeah, so that's good. And um, I'm going to actually be meeting with my cousin Sarah next weekend. Um, she's one of the family members I haven't spoken to this whole year, just because I, I keep feeling like she's kind of pushing at me, like really wanting to know, like, is she going to come back to the family? And so that's something I'm going to go and address next weekend with her. Nice. So, well, and maybe yeah. when you go there, just enter with that compassionate, unconditionally loving energy and just thank the angels for clearing ego from all energies so that you can right. just see each other and show honor. I was feeling and just that be way open. Too. Yeah, just be open to what comes about, you know? Yeah, exactly. Um, the yeah. next card is Kali, and this is with endings and beginnings. And the, on the card, it says the old must be released so that the new can enter. And it's interesting. I'll show that card. It's a little bit like more um, powerful card. But last night in the circle, so many of the women, I can intuitively feel like this leap of faith. The bold card is sometimes you take the leap of faith without any promise of anything. You just know something's no longer serving you and you leave it. And you step out like a job. Let's say someone's in a career and they know that it's causing them to be sick and stressed and they stay because they don't know where the next job is. But there's times where we have to let that old job go. And maybe we have a week or so where we're just meditating and we're clearing our energy and we're relaxing and resting and we're focusing on what the next creation is and then the new job enters and same with relationships some will stay in a relationship because they don't know if there's a better one and you need to sometimes let it go because you just know it's not the best for you even if you're on your own for a while so that you can get comfortable with that and trust that you can create and manifest the next energy that's best for you so sometimes the reason i say that is with this card it reflects the boldness and the courage that's required at times to let something go without a promise of what's coming. So does that make right. sense? Yeah, it does completely. Awesome. Okay. So this one says, I sing praises to those whose hearts accept the universal order, which only appears to be chaotic and ever changing. In actuality, everything is designed down to the smallest detail to be in perfect operation. So this card spot on for what I was saying in the beginning of the show, of how there is really no wrong path. Everything we're going through, even if we're being abused or we're being violated, we're being shamed, it's all a part of our awakening to come back into alignment. If we're, you know, with the wrong marriage, we're with the wrong career, it's all a choice that we took that maybe was off the path of our true integrity aligned soul mission self, but eventually it guides us back to the path. And so in essence, I feel that's what this card's um, confirming is that once you understand that there is a chaos to the universe and that it's, it is random, but it's also beautifully aligned at the same time. And that every aspect of our choices and creation are bringing us where we need to go. We can really start to trust instead of being fear. We, if we feel moments of fear, because I feel all humans will, I remember leaving in my marriage, I felt terrified, but the fear yeah. woke me up and made me pay attention instead of, where I see some, some humans will have fear and it puts them to sleep and it makes them go numb and they just stay stuck and paralyzed. That's not good. That's not going to be a good feeling. So if yeah. fear comes, just know that's a part of life and you're going to have moments where you're afraid and where you feel nervous about the unknown, but go anyway, like keep evolving, keep moving forward and stay awake always to what's coming in. Um, Let's see. 
says, the dance of the universe is a happy one with energy swirling and twirling and never ending celebration of life itself. Join this dance, dear one, and enjoy the remarkable journey of the weavings of the story of your life. Do not fear what appears to be a change or a loss. It's only the transitioning orbit of energy interplaying with you and your loved ones. Embrace it as evidence that you are alive. Embrace your deepest emotions as a signal of your true human essence. And then the various meanings are your current changes are for the best. Kind of like we were saying, like there's a reason that job didn't work out. It wasn't for your best or it would have. Um, yeah. Keep your thoughts positive as they're very powerful. What appears to be a loss is really the beginning of a happy new phase. And let the past go. It's time to move on. So this one is yeah. pronounced Kali. <laughs> And it's the ultra-powerful Hindu goddess is feared by those who don't understand the natural cycles of birth, death, and rebirth. Kali is the embodiment of Mother Nature, who cleanses away the old with natural storms and fires to make the ground fertile for new crops and life. Kali is the ultimate get-things-done goddess, and she's a powerful ally to those who call upon her. Like a wise sage mother, she'll push you beyond your comfort zone to reach the heights of your potential. I love that. <laughs> I really do. That, that sounds exactly like what I need. That's like something I, I'm always working on. And yeah, those, those fiery goddesses, that's how you get it done. <laughs> yes. You're so, like, bring it on. Well, and talk yeah. to, call in that goddess, call in that energy, call in Archangel Ariel. She's a warrior goddess herself and just connect with them and thank them for guiding you and trust that you are on the path you're meant to be at this time. So rather than try to get away from this moment, really just move into this moment, like lean into it and start to really pay attention as an observer of the movie. Like, what is this all about? What is it that I need to understand? What is it I need to clear to go higher? Where is it I'm being guided? And then everything starts to kind of flow more naturally and beautifully rather than when we're in a resistant energy and I'm angry, I'm frustrated, it's not happening. And then we start quickly downward spiraling in our vibration. So you want to keep that vibration high. Know that you are a powerful manifester. And you also are so powerful, you know when something's not for your highest good. So you just learn yeah. to trust and keep your focus on the ebb and flow and just go with it. Exactly. And like, and that's how I was feeling too, is like, whenever I follow my intuition and creatively find find solutions in a creative way it's like yeah it's it totally out. random it's totally unexpected it's it might even be all over the place but if i'm following my intuition that's when things yes. fall into place it doesn't make logical sense to you know maybe like my mother or my family or maybe other people but you know living in that within that intuition within my own world is when I manifest the things I want, even if it's, oh, from that avenue or different avenues, you know what I mean? It's not linear. Yes. It's, it's random. Like, oh, some would see it as chaos, but it, but that's how the earth is. It's cyclical, but it's also very creative. It manifests in many ways. And so that's, that's something very powerful. <laughs> Absolutely true. Yeah. And just remember that and really the more you can get away from needing them to approve of you or what do they think, really work on clearing that. Like maybe consciously yeah. talk to your guides about helping you clear that. Every woman in the circle last night, that was a big one for. Because there's a big part of what's keeping us back from stepping into our full power is at some level we're still afraid of what will they think of us. Will they reject us? Will we be freaks? And it's time to let that go and really step into your power and not really worry about that. Keep your focus on how may I serve, not what do they think about me. Yeah. It'll keep like, you it'll keep you out of ego. Focusing on that. Yeah, like focus on the higher lesson, like this is why I'm here and, and this is what I need to say and, and really yes. seeing seeing the situation through your higher soul and speaking from that place of compassion and intuition. So that's when it all flows through. That's when the true knowledge flows through. And then you're not going to care anymore about those small insecurities inside. That's when you're going to rise above it. 
Amen, so. sister. And that's what the show was all about today. So that's a great way we're summarizing what it was about was the, the basically the gift of stillness is what you just explained is we come yeah. into this place where we really honor intuition and inner knowing more than any external distraction because none of that out there will ever bring us what we really need compared to listening to what's inside, listening to the intuitive guidance. Everything's inside. Everything yes, is within yes. us. That we Amen. <laughs> well, thank well, you thank so you much so for, much for calling in. Yeah, thank you. It's beautiful. Yeah. yeah. And I'm looking forward to our training since we we're talking about synchronicity and like intuition. I was like getting an intuition to reach out to her about a, a aromatherapy training. And then she's like, I was just going to write to you about that. And then you wrote me. I'm like, awesome. And it's just, <laughs> and she was laughing and saying, I love when our angels, you know, like how our angels connect us. And really it is like Eileen and I have had that experience with each other where we'll just think of each other or have a dream or something that's bringing a connection to answering a question. And so the more we learn to listen to that and play with that, we really realize we're being guided and it's very playful and fun when we do it that way. Yes. And I love that so much. It, it's, it's like our natural state. <laughs> it is. Yes. That is. That's the way the angels do it. <laughs> yes. Well, thank you so much, Tanya. I, l I look forward to our training this Thursday. Yeah, me too. And thank you for calling in love and for sharing your vulnerable truth and, and just being courageous, I really salute you for that. And I do not at all think that you talked too much. You were sharing, and it was beautiful. So thank you. Thank, thank you, Tanya. I love you. <laughs> love you, too. Mwah. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Have a great night. Bye. You, too. All right, everybody, it's 611, so we went over a little bit, and I just wanted to thank everyone that did tune in today and that yeah, listened, and if you ever right. want to write in or call, you know that you can, so be brave and courageous, and my little holiday special offer that I wanted to offer all the listeners that anybody that's remote that doesn't live close to me, I'm offering a half price or clearing special for remote clients that have never had a clearing before. So this is a pretty awesome opportunity. If you've been really curious, you know that you need some help, you need to move forward, but you're a little stuck or nervous about how to do that, give me a call, 360-567-7576, or you can go to tanyaangel555.com, and I think my email's connected there, or tanyaangel at gmail.com to send me an email. But reach out and let me know, and trust me, whether you're in my healing room or whether you're in New Jersey, the angels and I can assist you. We tune into you vibrationally. So even if your brain can't understand that, just come and connect and tune in and experience it. And then you'll understand from the experience. And I can answer questions on the phone call. So if you have questions, call me and we can talk about that. But I'll be offering that for this week. So you have what's today is the 7th. So we'll just have it until next Sunday. You have that time frame to contact me and set up a session. Your session could be after the holidays. You don't need to actually do it, but to set it up and pay for it and secure your spot, you got till next Sunday and it's a half off or clearing. So any of you have been thinking about it, this is a great time to take advantage of that. And I probably honestly won't offer this very often because I really value what I do. But I also like to offer specials sometimes to just nudge people to really try something that will help them. So I will sign off on that note. And I hope you all have an amazing week and stay conscious, stay present, and really practice stillness every day. When you're in the light, waiting in traffic, practice stillness. Connect with your breath. When you're waiting in the line at the airport, wherever you are, when the kids are screaming and fighting through the house, sit back and just watch them and just connect with your breath and really observe and pay attention to what your soul is trying to tell you. All right. I wish you guys all the best and thank you so much for tuning in. Love you all so much. Namaste. <laughs>
tune in to the Nissan Communications Network. Our weekly lineup of call-in programs includes Computers 2K Now with Amazon.